Hey guys, welcome back to another video and our uh, third third video in our how-to how series. Um, this time we're going to be laying some seals and uh, as you can see there's three seals to lay or um, well, three examples I guess that I'll show you. Um, just for a disclaimer, this is how I lay the seals. Um, this is not the one and only way to lay seals but uh, for your information, I suppose, um, this is just one way of how to do it. So, obviously I got my mud, I've already cut my seals, and um, all there's left to do is lay them. So I generally measure the um, gap between the top of the, the last course and the bottom of the window, not including the flap. And generally I'll keep it between 150, lowest 140, and max 160 before I need to start doing cuts. Um, say if it's 180, then you would take away 150 and you'd be left with a 30 mil um, split. So, but for this one, we don't need splits. This is generally the, the smallest of the windows. So that usually equates to uh, seven bricks. What I usually do in terms of counting them is um, for every brick is three seal bricks and as you can see it's um, two and a half so that's about seven and um, I've cut seven so I'm gonna spread my mud now so make sure your mud's not too uh, not too wet um, though today is a uh, really hot it's about 26 27 um, 28 no, I think. Well, there you go, 28. <laughs> yeah. So I've just mixed it normal because of how hot it is. Um, I've spread my mud, so I'll cut the back away so it doesn't go into the cavity. Uh, and obviously for the front, I try and create some sort of triangle and then cut the top as well, or flat the top, flatten it. So you generally want your, your bed to look something like that. So. Now, what I'm going to do is is mark it out. This is you don't you don't have to do this, but I just do it just because it's um, I have it at my disposal. It's and just to make sure that my bricks are even and um, I'm not putting in any splits or cuts. So what I'll do is this is a this is 86. It's an 86 gauge. So that's the standard. 76 mil brick with a 10 mil joint. So what I'll do is I'll put the the line or the first mark on the gauge rod um, on the end of the brick and then I'll start marking away. So as you can see on this side I have quite a bit of a gap there it's about 20 mil so this line to this brick is what I'll end up with um, which is a yeah about a 20 mil perp so what I need to do is change the 86 to 87 because that's a bigger joint and now line it up with the uh, with the brick again on the left side and as you can see on the right side the gap has closed because the joints are bigger so I'm gonna go with that one there. Um, and then what I'm going to do with these other marks is also just um, mark them with a trowel, just roughly. So I take away the gauge rod and here's my marks that I can go off and then I can start laying. So I pick up my brick, I've cut him um, usually to the end of the fourth hole. Um, that's generally how, how big I cut mine. Some people cut them bigger, and some people cut them smaller, I suppose. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this brick in um, on the AJ first. So on the AJ, uh, I need to make sure this is full. Generally, it's just the front two. So what I'll do is I'll get my mud. And just make sure that's. Uh, all covered, so something like that. And then, 
plus my brick in. So this is flat and now I'm going to start tapping it down or placing it actually. Something like that. So now what I'm going to do is get my overhang. So I generally say between 30 and 40. So that's about 40, 40 mil there. And then on the bottom, I'll go about 20, 20 mil. So 40 take away 20 is the is our 20 mil gradient, which is required at Metricon. Um, and that's uh, on a minimum of um, 20 mil overhang as well. So obviously we've got 40, and then take away um, 20 for the uh, for the gradient or the slope. So I've got one side down. Now I need to do the other side. So. For this side, there's no AJ, so I need to butter it properly. So, usually swipe towards me, and then across, and then down. Get some more mud if you need to. And just make sure it's, um, make sure it's all full. And make sure this corner bit as well, um, which goes into the top corner of the window. Make sure that's full as well, because we get a lot of blowouts, or generally if there's blowouts on a sill, it's usually in the, on the top of the sill. So put plenty of mud there. So now, I'm gonna put this side in. Make sure it's under the flap, um, flush. So as you can see, it's flush. Now, what I'm gonna do, press it down, not too much, because I still wanna check what it's gonna look like. And then, make sure this perp is full as well. As you can see on this side, the perp is full. And we're staying 10 mil away from this um, from this mark because we want our brick to finish on this mark, not not this brick, but um, this side, so that we've got our 10 mil or 11 mil joint now. Now that it's um, 87, so I'm going to mark the same on this side. So here, obviously, it's just under 40, so I want to move it forward a bit. And then this side, I want to move it to 20. So that's about 20 there. And then, both sides are the same. Now all I need to do is put my remaining bricks in and um, yeah, make sure, the, make sure the joints are full. So I'm going to butter all these um, seals. I suppose you can um, just have a look how I do it. Uh, but every person's different, but the bottom line is, is that as long as the, the sill, the sills are full, it um, doesn't really matter how you butter them. So, just something like that. There's a bit of sand in there, but <laughs> most of it's mud. Because I'm not using a line, I want to have this just roughly by eye and slightly above the pre-existing brick, just so that when I put a level on it, I can tap it down. So I can grab my next brick. So as you look underneath, I'm just trying to stay with my my guide that I've sort of created with the gauge rod. Make sure I'm not past it or before it.
Hopefully, if we followed our guide right, it should um, <laughs> it should work. So, place this in. So obviously this is done by eye. Now I need to double check with a small level. So here's my level. And uh, as you can see, that's sort of level. So I'm gonna tap that. Face, that's all. Yeah, the face isn't too bad. Yeah, there you go. I'll just, uh, I'll quickly point it out. And then you'll see the end product, I suppose. So that's all joined. Um, I'm just going to clean this uh, this weave hole in the Ajo, just so that I don't have to do it later. So I've got two more to show you. Um, because this is a small seal, we don't really use a line, as I explained. So because these seals are a little bit bigger, I'll show you how to do it with a line now. Excuse my voice. I'm like I'm, I'm so out of energy. So um, yeah, it's just the end of the day. So yeah, it's closing on and. Five o'clock, I think, maybe. Probably already is five, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Bit flat at the moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> All right. Make sure you guys are subscribing. <laughs> got a line, I've got two pins. Doesn't matter what pins you use. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin them to the the ends or just to the brick wall. And uh, Make sure it's in line with the seal, the two seals that I've laid. I've got my line, um, it's just off the brick, uh, not touching the brick obviously. Um, and yeah, got my gauge, my, got my gauge set and uh, I'm gonna lay this seal now as well. So. This is the last seal. Last break, yes. What's your dragon is it gonna fit? 
Ooh. That's the better question. Asking the real questions. All right. No, 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 not underneath. Um, just on the perps. So once you're done, you take the line off. Uh, I, I didn't even say, um, I forgot to say, doing it with the line, with any sort of brickwork, just reduces, reduces your need to uh, fix it with the level, I guess, or adjust it with the level. Um, so if you have the opportunity to use a line, um, do it, so assuming that the bricks that you have set are correct, so, so for, the huge, uh, for the people watching, that's, uh, that's, that's alright, it's not too bad. <laughs> Check the front as well. This is, uh, this is our last seal um, for the footage. We've had some te technical difficulties with the uh, with the gimbal, but um, I hope the I hope the video was a bit informative. It's one of our shorter videos, not our shortest video, I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to see anything else on our how-to series, um, let us know. But. Uh, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and, um, and yeah, give it a like, and uh, make sure you guys subscribe, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Um, yeah, we're going to be uploading Fridays as well. Uh, we launched a poll the other day. My missus did, actually. <laughs> She's happy as about it. But um, launched the poll, and you guys want to see our videos on Friday, so we're going to start uploading Fridays, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys can stay tuned for then. Uh, that's Friday, Australian Eastern Sand time. So um, I guess for you guys in the UK, it'll be Thursday, Thursday morning, maybe. But um, that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching again. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Just quickly, guys, um, just before I let you go, uh, me and my missus, we're going to be going away. Um, it's our first holiday uh, since the uh, since the pandemic uh, started. So <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be away. So which means no recording for that weekend, and there might not be a uh, there might not be a video until the following week. So um, when you guys will see when you guys see us again, we'll probably be on the um, on the next job, and uh, and yeah, hopefully it's. Um, yeah, we got some. We get some more content out for you guys on that house. So um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you then.